Hello everyone, we will continue with speaking about lists and um, which uh, we can find it from the third uh, tab which is the set tab and we will have list item in the list sub part and by clicking on it we can have different options that we have for our list component for example we want to start with list item but before we start i want to speak about the display and different options that we have for it if we click on our display tab we will have uh, different options like draw icons which uh, it is now showing the, our component using icons we can also and uh, by clicking on it we can just deselect it and then we have uh, the name of our component which is list item but it just shows the item we can have our uh, draw full names which is list item and we can again come back to the icons which i think is better so now we have the full name for our input and outputs but uh, the name of the component becomes like an icon or working also with the short names uh, for our input and output so this is the component named list item and what we can do with this component uh, is to select different data from a list of data that we have for example let's set uh, a number of points on our Rhino screen and also bring them into our grasshopper using um, the set multiple points and selecting all of them together if we um, connect this component of points into our list oh, sorry I wanted to hide them uh, we can see that uh, the component list item has three inputs the first one is the list which is the list of items that we want to work on the second is the item that we want to select or extract from in our list and it uh, gets uh, an integer number from zero to the last uh, number that we have in here by putting our mouse uh, on uh, the in output of our point component, we can see that it says we have nine locally defined values. So let's uh, connect a panel to it. As you see in here, in Grasshopper, the name of the indexes are from 0 to the length of our list minus 1. Because it starts with 0, if we have 9 points, we will have 0 to 8. So the slider that I will use for the index will be the same. We will start from 0 and go to 8. I mean the maximum range is 8 ok by default it was also on 0 but I'm also using 0 to show different uh, options ok when I put it on 0 as you see the first point that I draw Rhino will show up if I go from 0 to 8 you can you can see that each of these points will be selected separately the other thing that i can do is setting the multiple of these indexes let's say i want to have both 0 and 2 to put both of these sliders into this input i should take shift on my keyboard and then i can put both of these indexes so the, my output is both of these points the other way is to right click on the index and have an integer or have multiple integers like 0, 2, 6 and 8 
Now these points are selected from my list. To see the order of these points, which was the order that I draw them on my Rhino screen, I can use the point list component, which is located in the display uh, section and uh, in the vector tab. And this is the point list. If I connect my list, my list of points to the point component, to the point input, also I can set the size of my points. Let's say I want to have it with size 2. I can see the order of these points from 0, 1, 2, 3 to 8. So these points are selected in this order. If I say I want to have my point number 4, I have it by putting the index 4 to my index input. So, how is it useful? For example, I want to have these points and then I want to have my 4 index to make lines to my other points. How can I ha have it? For this, uh, I can have my line component and I select this point as my A input and for other inputs, I can just connect the other points and I will see it. But the problem is that this point is also making a line to itself which is not making a line. So if I connect a panel to the output I will see that one of my lines has a length of zero which is just no line. The other thing to have my line between this point and the other points is to uh, eliminate or delete this index from my list so all the other inputs are in another list and this one is eliminated from them. To do this, I can use the call index component, which is again located in the set tabs and in the sequence. So if I connect the list and also the index that I want to eliminate it from my list, I will have this uh, set and then if I select this component, this uh, output to the B line, there is no line with zero lengths and all of the lines are from this point to the others. There is no line from this point to itself. Now let's say we have two sets of points. And we want to connect each of them to the other one. So we um, bring these points together in one point component and these others inside another point component. Okay. If I uh, write line component I can select these inputs and as you see the order that I draw these points were from this to here. So if I write the point list, I want to show you the order of the, the points. It's from 0 to 4 but for the this line of points I have from 0 to 5. So how can I link it from this point to the nearest point to itself or it's uh, the point that is located in front of it? So how can I make this 0 to come from here and make them just um, making lines uh, corresponding to each other? The way that I can do this is by right-clicking on my 
points my second point list and uh, select reverse what reverse does is just reversing the list now we have a problem in here the problem is that the lengths of these two set of points are not the same in the upper part we have five points however in this part we have six points what has happened in drawing these lines is that for the last point of our first list the last point is connected to the two last of the second list if we wanted to just eliminate this line and let it be with the last line that connects the same point to its corresponding one we could use shortest list in the shortest list it just works with this mm, set that is that has a shorter length and uh, as you see in here we eliminate the last part the other thing that we can use for an alternative is the longest list in this way it works as it was doing before and uh, it makes uh, two curves or two lines for the last part to also match with all points of the second list the other thing that we can do is making the list so that it makes a line from each of the points to each of the other points of the other list and that's by using cross reference if we select the, the points from first list and second list to A and B and connect them to our line as you see we have all our points connected to each of the points from the other list as you see here it's written holistic if we click on it we can have different types But mostly the holistic is used. In the next lesson, we will speak about the curves.